Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be discussing about the reporting in inventory module of Odoo 60. The reporting in inventory helps us to track the stock and the stock movement of different products. The Odoo 16 inventory module provides various reports for various inventory operations. Inside the reporting menu, we have reports such as the stock, the stock moves, the valuation, the performance and so on. Let's now check the inventory reporting features in detail. Let's move on to the module and see. Let's get inside the inventory and see how the reporting works. So I've opened the inventory and here you can see the menu called the reporting. So once you click the menu, you can see sub menus like stock, locations, moves history, stock moves, valuation and performance. So we will see one by one. So first of all, let's open the stock here. Inside the stock, you can see the products um, like we have a lot of stock here and we have the details such as product, the unit cost of the product, the total value, the on hand, free to use, incoming, outgoing and units. Now at the end of each product, you can see the history, replenishment and even the forecast of that particular product. Okay, so you can filter it here uh, based on the categories. So you can see products coming under the category all. So if you only want to see the pro products which are coming under the category all saleable, you can click on that. Similarly, you have two other options also. So from the left side of the screen, you can choose the category. That is, you can filter the view based on the category you apply there. And also here we have the option to filter group by and favorites. So inside filter, you have the options which are like can be sold and can be purchased. So while creating a product, you can see the can be sold, can be pur uh, purchased, checkbox and all. So once you check it, based on that, you can filter the stock. So if I click on can be sold, product that can only be sold will be viewed here. Okay. Not only be sold, products which are marked as can be sold. Okay. So it can be uh, like it can be marked like can be sold and also can be purchased. So in such way you can filter it and you have the option to filter it based on favorites then you have the option to filter it based on warning archived ones the available products okay so here you can see the available products where the on hand quantity is not zero so that's simply available products and then you have negative forecasted quantity so here is the negative forecasted quantity so for products which have the forecast as negative, such products can be filtered here. Let's go back and you have the group by option next. So inside the group by you have product type and product category. So you can uh, group it based on the products type as well as product category. So this is product type. So product types are, actually we know we uh, have some product types like storable product, consumable product and all. So here you can see storable products. So once you expand it, you can see all products which are coming under the category storable. Then you have the group by option for product category. So product categories are like all saleable, all consumable, such categories and all. So all the existing categories and the products which are coming under each category can be viewed here. So if you uh, just take a look at this all, you can see four written there. If you expand it, you can see four products coming under that category. Similarly, we have two more categories. So we have one software under the software category, one under the office furniture, not one. We have 28 products under the software furniture. So that's the uh, filter and group by. Then we have favorites, which is similar in all other views as well. So if you want to create stock, you can simply click on create button here and you get the uh, product creation form. So it's very similar to the product, not similar. It's the same uh, product creation form, which we can find in every other module. Okay, so here also you can see products. I'll just show you. This is the uh, stock creation. If I just discard it, go to products and click on create. You can see the exact window has come. Okay, so like likewise, you can create the stock. So stock is simply the details about the product. Details like the on-hand quantity, the forecast and all. Next, under reporting, we have locations. So as you all know, we are storing this product in warehouse and inside warehouse, we have a lot of locations. Okay, so you get the complete details of the locations inside this locations menu under the reporting menu. So here you can see the location, which is WH stock and the product, 
then you have the serial number the owner the on hand quantity the reserve quantity unit history replenishment and all so you can see the location of the product okay so you can simply create location from here so in wh stock or if you want to change the location you can change it from here and you can add or you know like assign a product to that location so i'll simply add book okay then you can give a lot and serial number for the product and if you want to assign owner to that product you can do that as well then you have the on hand quantity the reserve quantity and units so it's simply creating a location or adding a product to a particular location then you have inventory at date if you click on that you can get the invent i mean you can get the inventory date there you can provide the date and confirm and you will get the uh, result based on the date which we have given so if i have given the date as today the result will be based on today's date okay inventory on that particular date then you have this is internal locations actually you have the option to filter it based on internal locations transit locations so this is transit then you can filter it based on on hand quantity then you have to count then we have to apply start product so you'll get all the start products here the negative stock the reservations expiration alerts and all then you have the incoming date so you can set a date and based on that date uh, if there is any results corresponding to that date you will get the result there then you have the counts that is you can take my counts and also add custom filter so let's remove this you have the group by option next where you can group it based on products so here are the products and if you expand each you can get the location details and all then we have the option to group it based on product category okay then you have location storage category owner so based on owner also you can filter it the lot and serial number the company and also if you want to add custom group by you can add that and favorites i'm not repeating it again and again favorites is similar in every other pages as well okay so that's the locations then we have the move history so it shows the history of movement of the stock and all okay so here you can see the date the reference the product lot and serial number and here you have from and to so from where to where the product has been moved can be seen in the move history so currently we filtered it based on the status which is done so all the uh, movement which is done which is in the done state is filtered here so i'm removing it so while removing it you can see all other statuses like available then you have partially available done everything can be viewed so you have the filters here you can't create a move history so based on the operations taking place inside the inventory and all it gets loaded automatically you have filters here so you can filter it based on to do which are uh, like the ones which are in available status the done ones incoming ones and the outgoing ones that is the outgoing movement incoming movement and all then you have the internal ones then you can filter it based on dates that is last 30 days last 3 months last 12 months and also you will get the inventory here then we have the group by where you can group it based on product status date transfers location category batch transfer and even you can add custom group so you can group it based on all these categories and then here also we have the favorites now here you have the kanban view as well as the pivot view so we'll go into view uh, i'm not going right now into view in much detail and all then we have the stock moves so here it gives uh, it's stressing on the movement of stock okay so you can see the reference the product and the location from and to that is from which location to which location the stock is been moved okay so you can see the uh, stock movement and all here here also we have the same kind of filtering and all which are like ready the to do ones and the done ones so you can filter it based on these statuses then you have incoming outgoing inventory and all now in group by also you have the option to group it based on product picking status creation date schedule date and also you can add custom group then you have favorites okay so here you have the pivot view of the stock moves 
so which is simply a table so you can add measures so that columns are getting multiplied so here you have demand and quantity done right now so if i add one more like real quantity one more is added so based on your needs you can add the measures then you have the graph view so this is currently the graph view which is the bar chart of the stock moves you have the line chart the pie chart okay so we have three kinds of uh, uh, i mean graphical analysis then finally we have the um, kanban view of the stock moves next we have the valuation so here you get the analysis of stock valuation so where you have the date reference product company moved quantity unit value unit of measure and total value okay you can filter it based on the incoming and outgoing so you can see the outgoing stock valuation and here you have the incoming stock valuation so if you want to filter it based on has remaining quantities that is the ones having the remaining quantities you can filter it from here and also add custom filter i'm removing it then you have the group by option where you can group it based on product and also add custom group so here you have the list view as well as the pivot view okay so if you want a tabular kind of evaluation you can add measures or put it in the pivot view and if you want to insert it into spreadsheet you can simply do that by clicking on insert in spreadsheet and finally we have the performance so performance is simply the warehouse analysis so it's basically a graphical analysis okay so you have the transfer dates here and based on the measures you can set the uh, required things and all so currently it shows the count if you want the cycle times the delay or the product quantity you can filter it here you have the bar chart here the pie chart also and this is the line chart so you have the cumulative view the stacked view the descending order and the ascending order of the graph and here we have the pivot view of the uh, warehouse analysis this is the group by and this is the filters where under filters you have done transfers done deliveries and also done receipts then we have transfer date add custom filter also so these are the main things which comes under the reporting tab so under reporting you get the analysis of the movement of stocks the move history the locations valuation performance warehouse analysis and all that's all about the uh, reporting that's all we have for you in this video thank you so much for watching